Virgos welcome back to the channel this is Kelly from House of Virgo if you're new welcome please smash that like button and do subscribe if you enjoy the readings keep in mind this is a weekend general love reading so some of the messages may or may not be for you take a fits leave the rest this is a channel for Virgo Sun Moon Rising or Venus but all signs are welcome all right Virgo so let's get into this this is going to be for your weekend of April 21st through the 23rd all right, Saturday is Earth Day, so happy Earth Day to all of my fellow Virgo Earth signs. Okay, let's get into this. What's going on? What's going to happen here for Virgo in love? What's happening for Virgo in love over the weekend? Okay, retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world, Virgo. So it looks like this weekend is the perfect opportunity, if you can, for stepping back, uh, retreating, disengaging, um, pulling your energy back, getting some rest, um, uh, getting like renewing, getting, getting into some solitude or recovery. Okay. Focusing on some recovery. Okay. Let's see. Disconnecting from the world this weekend in whatever way that is for you. Okay. What is this? Okay. You've got deception. Someone wearing a false self mask in a relationship. Okay, maybe that's why you're going to pull back, Virgo. Uh, let's see. You might be saying to yourself, okay, somebody's deceiving or something's not right. Let me let me pull back. You've got to express your love. Go ahead and make a romantic gesture, but also free yourself. <laughs> okay, Virgo. Hmm. This is very interesting. Um so I get a sense that there's something going on here with like a romantic gesture gets made, but it could be tied to something not being true. And I don't know, Virgo, are you maybe deciding for yourself or is this your advice for you to just kind of step back and free yourself from something here over this weekend? Let's see. Yeah, I kind of feel like that's the energy here. Expressing yourself, but pulling back. Okay. All right, let's see what's going on. You've got the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. So there's definitely an opportunity coming for you over this weekend for you to step the hell back. <laughs> like step off something. You, it looks like you're going to be like off the radar over this weekend maybe you've expressed your love or something to someone and um something false is occurring um i don't i'm not sure where it's coming from or someone might say they can't do something over the weekend but you find out it they're being deceptive about that they actually can they might say they've got other plans or something else is going on um but actually they don't have, I don't know. I feel like you find out that somebody's not doing what they said they were going to be doing. I, I'm not really sure. Or it, it could be you who's telling another person that you can't because you got something going on, but you're really just trying to free yourself. Um, and you tell this person in a really nice way. You do have something going on though. Okay. You do have an opportunity. Somebody, Virgo, you might just say you know something else came up and it this looks better for me and i think i want to do this other thing instead okay <laughs> interesting okay uh, let's see I, I just get an overall feeling that over this weekend you're just kind of going off the radar like you can't be found okay so you have the two of cups and the ten of pentacles wow virgo you're definitely making a connection with someone over this weekend okay um, I see you meeting up with someone over this weekend. Yes, yes, yes. You step away. An opportunity comes and you step away and take another opportunity somewhere. That's the biggest message. I, I feel like you might have two choices or something comes up and you're like, nah, because you have another option. That's what I feel like is going on here. Okay, and this really feels to me like you're connecting with someone or you're meeting up with someone in particular over this weekend. And it's, it looks like it could con like a friend connection that can turn into romance. Okay, and it could be somebody at work. You could have a connection with someone at work. Um, for some of you, you are connecting with um, your agent. 
in regards to um, a career situation or work, you can't do something. This is what I feel like another opportunity. It's either meeting someone romantically or you're making a connection with, or you're meeting up with someone who's connected to your work. And this is like a, for some Virgos, it's kind of like, all right, well, do I go meet someone for drinks and have like maybe a romantic thing? Or do I meet this person who's got this amazing financial opportunity for me where I can make a million dollars in the next five months? Virgo's like, hmm, let me see. <laughs> um, I, where's your priorities, Virgo? Uh, is it love you want? Or is it that million dollars that you want, <laughs> Virgo? That's why I kind of feel like with the two is always like a decision. Yeah. Okay. So you have the Queen of Swords here as well. Queen of Swords is making some kind of offer, coming in with this offer. And it's the real deal. It's like true. Okay. Um, let me see. Oh, yeah. Listen, Virgo. There, okay. So as the story unfolds, there is a financial opportunity definitely coming to you over this weekend that's connected to work or something that you're putting effort into i feel like i do feel like the overall message is you might actually tell someone on a personal level like in a romantic thing you know can i get a rain check on that because i have this other thing that's come up but i can't say anything about it just yet but like this is a, a phenomenal amazing golden opportunity and i can't like this is a one time deal a one time shot i feel like a lot of you are going to put like the whole love thing on the back burner i really do um i don't feel like you're being greedy or anything but this is going to provide some kind of stability for you financial stability long term okay or give you where you can plant some roots long term. Okay, let me see. You have the Eight of Swords. Oh, wow, yeah. See, this offer that's coming in, Virgo, I feel like you're kind of stuck or trapped financially where you are right now. Like things could be better. That's all I'm saying. And I feel like this is something that maybe you've been thinking about. Um, or will be thinking about, you know, like, oh, what I could do with all of these extra funds. How much, like, it, this is kind of like making, like, planning and dreaming and thinking these things out. Virgo looks to me like, you know, some of you are just kind of like, you know, I'm done with love. I'm not trying to focus on that right now. Too many people are deceptive. I'm focusing on my coin and I'm freeing myself, you know, um, and I do feel like with go ahead and make the romantic gesture, you may tell somebody that you're really, really like you really like them. Like it, there's kindness here. You're expressing a very loving gesture to somebody. But I also feel like you're going to choose, not all of you, but it, somebody here is going to choose to make a financial connection because it's it's going to be like a long to help you out in the long term you know what i mean like you've got this pentacle energy and the sword is like it's all about like your money it's all about your finances your stability and you know the way your lifestyle or your thoughts it's going to get you out of isolation or um a stressful situation in your life this, you, there's like isolation restrictions are feeling like you're in prison. The only thing we have for the love here is, you know, the Eight of Cups and the Two of Cups. It's kind of like, the Eight of Cups is like moving on, you know? It's kind of like withdrawal and, and you know, taking a temporary time out so you can focus on what you need for the long, time, long term for yourself. Yeah, wow, Virgo, first time. Feels to me like love's just going to have to be on the back burner for now. There's things you want. You want to build your business. You want to buy a new home. Um, you want to purchase some real estate. You know, um, whatever you're doing, you want to put more money in your bank. Um, you don't want to have like feeling like you're trapped anymore. That seems to be more of a priority. Um, it doesn't look like your priority is love. It's not your main priority. You know, you're kind of like, well, that would be really a nice benefit. And that'd be great if I could connect with someone. But right now, I really have nothing to offer or I'm trying to build. And, you know, you're by, it looks like you're passing up on getting into anything 
starting down that journey just yet. You're just delaying. I feel like you're delaying. Okay. What else does Virgo need to know? It, this weekend is going to be prominent for that. Okay. You've got the moon. All right. Yeah. So a lot of you have set your new moon intentions um, for prosperity more so than anything. Okay. To be prosperous in your life. Okay, the moon and the hanged man. Hmm. Huh. All right, so they're telling me this. De so this deception card that flew out here in the beginning with the retreat. Virgo, I feel like you're like taking a step back because you are. You're kind of like, you know, if it's meant for me, it'll be for me. If it's not, then I won't have to worry about it. I feel like you're just like, if someone's really interested and they want to, they'll wait. <laughs> and you're not really saying that to a per another person. You're kind of keeping things secretly, keeping it to yourself and being a little deceptive like that. Like deceptive in the way of where you're just being a little shady like you're not you're not saying to somebody hey you, you got away from me because i got other things going on you're just kind of like you know i appreciate that and right now i just got a lot of stuff to do but that's not really the truth i mean it's a partial truth i feel like for you it's more along the lines of like <laughs> you got goals or things that you want to accomplish and uh you're kind of like keeping it close to your chest and saying, you know, if this person is serious about us and they really want to pursue, they'll wait. They'll wait while I'm, you know, chasing my goals. Yeah, absolutely. Chasing your goals, your, your passion. You're not chasing people. You're chasing your goals. All right, Virgo. <laughs> yep, look at that. The chariot. You're taking action. Okay. So let, let's, let's try to look about this two of cups. Who's this person? What's going on with this person? Okay. Who is this person? There's definitely a soulmate connection here. Maybe you already know this person. You guys have already met, but you might be kind of like, oh, I knew it. I just, okay, no, I didn't know it. I almost knew it. Page of Swords. This person's keeping their eye on you. All right, Virgo, they're watching. They're spying. They're curious about you. They're like trying to get more information on you. They want to know about you. Okay. Um, very intrigued. Very interested. Tell me more about this person that's trying to connect with Virgo. <clears throat> okay. So, Six of Pentacles. Oh, this person. All right. They've already got it in their mind. They've already made the decision um, that they want to go forward. This is a timing thing. Because I feel like somebody here is ready. They're ready to, like, give and receive and be reciprocal. And they're very interested in you. And, you know, their intuition is telling me that you're the person for them. Okay, could be a Cancer, could be a Pisces. Um, could be um, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. But yeah, um, Virgo, it looks to me like, I, I don't know if you're, let me see how you feel about, or will feel about this this connection because I kind of feel like for you you're just not making it a priority right now because this other this opportunity comes in either way you're freeing yourself you're stepping back you're saying no to a date you want to connect with someone but I feel like you want to you'd rather much you don't want to connect with someone for a love relationship first you're not against it but it looks like you you want to connect for business or work or your, your prosperity Okay. Yeah, Virgo. <laughs> I was asking about you about this part. You're running away. You're like, sorry, gotta go. See ya. <laughs> Take a rain check. Yeah, that's kind of your energy here, Virgo, over this weekend. Even if somebody's asked you out and the weekend comes, something else comes up. And it's like, oh, wait, you mean if I do like, if I put in three hours into this thing, I'm going to make more money or I'm going to get a promotion or you get a call about relocating for a job or, you know, like there's just something like this huge opportunity comes up to for you. New job, raise, promotion, investment, new income. And it looks good. Huh. That's interesting. It's supposed to be a love reading. And it's like, Virgo's like, mm-mm. 
I'm not trying to... Yeah, see, Virgo? Look, you've got the Four of Cups. You're just not interested. <laughs> I mean, they're just clarifying what I've already said. You're just not interested. Is this person going to stick around? Because Virgo's just like, well, if they don't, they don't. But if they do, that's great. Um, <laughs> you're not chasing. Okay, the High Priestess. Are they going to wait for Virgo? Um... I mean, they're not going to run away. They're not going to move. <clears throat> yeah, they're, they're going to wait. Yeah, they're going to secretly store up all the action they want to take, all the, the communication they want to have with you. They're going to patiently like store it all up until it's time. Yeah, so Virgo, go do your thing. I don't feel like this person is going to hold it against you or just run away or walk away and say, well, I don't want everyone to see you again. No, um, there's something... I don't know. I, I feel like it's making you more attractive to this person. Yes. <laughs> because I feel like Virgo, this person kind of looks at you like, wow, Virgo's going after their gold. Virgo's like, that's attractive. Virgo's very independent. Um, Virgo's self-sufficient. I'm going to, I want to marry Virgo. This is like my person. This is the person like Virgo's not a gold digger. Virgo's not... Virgo's not trying to like say, no, I just want to love you forever and ever and ever. And I'm never going to work a day in my life. And I don't want to do anything with my life. I just want to be all around you all the time. And you're not doing that. And this, I feel like somebody here is like, wow, Virgo's making me chase them a little bit or just giving me this impression that I don't need to do anything. Like, I, I, like, not I don't need to do anything. Virgo's like, uh, <laughs> let me back up. You're leaving an impression on this person. I don't want to say it's chasing, but where they're just much more interested in you because you're not making this, you're not making love a priority right now because you either you can't or you just don't want to at this time. Do you know what I mean? Okay. That, that's what I'm trying to get out here. This is going to be a short reading tonight. Usually Thursdays are for the weekend. Um, but let me see what else is going on. Um, what do I want to ask here? Okay, Virgo. Um, all right. They're, they're, they're not giving me anything here. So I'm just going to be a random and pull a card. See what else comes up here. Oh, all right. They're just saying... Virgo, you're going to get to that place of abundance where you need to be. There you are. You're very, like I said, Virgo, you're very focused on your coin this weekend. What you need to do for yourself. <clears throat> yeah. And I, I, like, I, like I said, I don't feel like you're saying no, but you're not saying yes right now. You're, you're just saying not right now. That's what I feel like is going on. So tell me, tell Virgo basically about this new opportunity, this prosperity. What's coming in here for Virgo? Okay, got the King of Wands. All right. There's a huge opportunity, yeah, for you to um, be in a leadership position. Okay. Um, huge opportunity for you. Uh, I feel like you're going to be in a either in a like a like a boss or you're, you're, you're gonna get like a like a like be in some kind of a boss position of some sort where you may have to fire some people like you're gonna have access authority of some sort not ceo kind of stuff okay um so i feel like that's kind of the description like but you are gonna have some alpha power behind you so if this is like a promotion of some sort and it comes which it will come with um, more income it's also going to come with more responsibility okay yeah you're going to be uh, i don't know why they're giving me this feeling of like it's such a bummer but you're going to be breaking some hearts this weekend i can tell you that you're pretty much <clears throat> whether that's like firing some people or letting some people go um, or getting a new position to do that um, or being paid more to, to do this or even romantically, I feel like you're like, no, I'm sorry, but you're a heartbreaker this weekend. 
you are you're you're not only telling one person no you might be telling a couple people no like sorry i got some deadlines i gotta meet and i got some goals i need to pursue this weekend and you know maybe another time i feel like they just keep giving me the same message virgo it doesn't even look to me like you're trying to go party or do anything. I mean, you're just all about your coin this weekend and work. Like that wheel of fortune, Virgo, like a lucky break. Because, you know, like I said, I saw the eight of swords here. And I was just feeling like with that card, there's a struggle. You know, something going on in your life that is affecting you mentally. And you're trying to break the chains. You're, 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 you're seeking an opportunity to get out of this situation that you're in. And the opportunity comes to you and you just jump on it. I, I don't know. I, keep, I feel like I keep repeating the same thing over and over again. So I'm going to stop with that. Okay. Um, I do want to get a couple of other messages to see what else is showing up here for you. Okay. There you go. Some of you, you have children to worry about. And something to do with your career or maybe grandchildren or um yeah i mean look virgo this is what's going on some of you are just trying to like be able to afford things or just get, be in a better financial place i mean there is a possibility you might meet just agree to meet someone just for like coffee or something but like nothing else you know and then you're like back to work or you might be working this weekend and just like, all right, I'll see you on my lunch break. And then right back to work. Like, I got deadlines. I get stuff here. I get some opportunities. Uh, Virgo, I don't, it's okay. You, you can, you know what? Sometimes you need to be in that position because, you know, your every day does need to be tended to. Okay? Options, opportunities coming to you. Sometimes love does have to take a back seat so you can take care of business. Absolutely. You know, put your like... What is that saying? Grindstone? Um, put your nose to the grindstone? Yeah, some of you are working this weekend or you're, you're taking on extra work this weekend. Yeah, some of you are trying to pay your bills. Are you going to be working from home? Uh, some of you work taking care of children. Are you babysitting? I don't, I'm not really sure, but it looks like something to do with home. Are you trying to buy a home for you and your children or... Um, or be able to pay for something for your kids as well. I don't know. You have your, yeah, new love is definitely there. And <clears throat> for some of you, this is an unknown person. So you might get asked out over this weekend. Actually, for all of you, I don't see a past person. This is somebody new who's interested in you. And um, a new person or an unknown person. There's definitely a new love. And it figures, Virgo, because you got new love coming in. You're like, can't this weekend. I got a life. <laughs> I got stuff I got to do. So um, you maybe you'll connect with them some way or talk to them on the phone or something and set something up for another day. Okay. Uh, but now you're not. Yep. I was like, I got to do my own thing. Okay. Could be a brunette female. Okay. That could be you. That could be another person, That this new person. Okay. And for others, they have a fair male. So it could be a fair male or a fair, fair female. They are lighter than darker. Or a brunette female or male, darker hair, very intense and very focused. That's either another person or you. Okay. That almost wanted to fly out. There's definitely a connection here. Someone's very, like, they got their eye on you. Really keep, very attracted to you. Okay. Huh. Courting man, yep. Uniform, professional male, okay, or female, yep. You're definitely, someone's courting you. This is somebody new. And uh, I don't know, Virgo, you gotta, you, you're busy. <laughs> you're busy. And I feel like this person will be like, oh, okay. I'll wait for, I'll wait for you when you're ready. <laughs> definitely. Um, Virgo, I'm not going any further because you know why? It's the weekend and I'm going to stretch and relax and do my thing this weekend work on some creative projects i'm just gonna leave there with you leave this here with you and uh yeah if you want to get a personal reading 
just go to my booking site. Hopefully it's still working because something must be going on because a lot of you are emailing me trying to book with me. So I'm wondering if my website, I'm going to have to look over the weekend if it's down. Um, if you are unable to access my website, just sit tight. I'll, if that there's a problem with it, I'll get it back up running my booking site. Okay. All right, you guys. So I'm going to leave that there for you. I hope you all have a, a marvelous, awesome, amazing weekend. And I'll see you all back here Sunday at 1 p.m. All the members, if you're not a member of my channel, do become a member for price of a cup of coffee each day. You can pop in on the Sunday live stream at 1 p.m. Eastern and pop in that stream and ask as many questions you want and I'll do many tarot readings for you. All right, you guys. So I'll see you guys back here very soon. All right, take care. Bye.